Once upon a time, there was a post box here. Interestingly, it was an Edward VIII one, obviously surplus. But several years ago, it was taken away and never replaced. I'm pretty sure the nearest one is quite a walk away. Let's make no bones about it. Willingdon Trees was everyone's idea of a sink estate in the 1980s. Since then, things have definitely improved and a real community spirit has grown. The community centre burned down and has been rebuilt bigger and better, but there's still a lot which needs to be done. Dumped rubbish isn't only a problem in the trees. It happens all over town. You can't really condemn the culprits as villainous fly tippers. Leaflets make getting rid of things at the recycling centre seem so easy. But it's not if you haven't got a car. Or even if you had, it's not so easy getting rid of large items like bridges. Regular free cage ban collections should be organised to stop people feeling like criminals when they've got no other way of getting rid of their large items. The paths around here probably look very nice on a satellite view on Google Earth, but for pedestrians, they're a real inconvenience, weaving in and out drunkenly. There's many back alleyways which do go in straight lines, but people just don't feel too safe using them at night. In the meantime, at least, street lighting should be regularly maintained. The nearest cash machines to this one in Holly Place are at the Broadway or in Freshwater Square, so charging £1.90 for a withdrawal is a bit much to ask. Older residents might remember when this was just a field with a couple of muddy tracks crossing it. Peter Day, the Borough Council's last Labour councillor, laid out a plan, heralded in Park News, as Labour's plan for a wasted field. I'm glad to say I was part of this plan and the council started work on the footpaths in the late 1980s. Over 25 years later, it's the thriving Holly Park with play parks for the young and not so young, basketball hoops and pleasant seated areas. Just think, if that hadn't happened, this would probably just have become another sprawling housing development. 